11 on the first hand. You recording? Let me get back. I know, I'm, I'm doing that. And then the second car would be a 10, so 11 plus 10 would be 21, and that's how you win. So the first card either has to be a 10 or a oh, face card, face card, and the second card has to be an 8 or other way around. So we have to find that probability. So with the first one, so what's the probability of finding, uh, of getting a 10 for a face card? Well, that's not a probability. A probability is always a fraction or a, or a decimal or a percent. So we have to figure that out. So how many cards are in a deck? 52. 52 cards. <laughs> you sure you don't want to do this? So, no, no, she don't, she don't so, know my cards. So, it's, my cards. Okay. So, it's okay. I was thinking it's like, you're so. giving me <laughs> 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 so, 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 I, I wish I had it then. But, uh, so he's right. There are 52 cards in a deck without counting the aces that we don't use from. I mean, uh, the joker. The joker. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are 52 cards. Let me see the mark. So there are 52 cards in the deck. So now we have to figure out, well, how many of those cards are the 10, the jack, the queen, or the king? How many of those are in the deck? I know y'all play cards, man. You can help her out. No, I don't play cards. Spades, 21, poker, Texas Holmes. Okay, so there are four suits, and each suit has 10 jacks, queens, and kings. So there are four jacks, four queens, four kings, and four tens. So how many cards is that total? Well, four for each one. So four times four. 16. So there's 16 of those. Now, once you pull that card out of the deck, that's one less card in the deck. So how many cards are left in the deck after you pull that one card out? If you pull, there are 52 cards in the deck and you pull one out, how many cards are left? 51. So now you only have 51 cards left in the deck. Now for the second card, that has to be eight. So how many aces are in the deck? Four aces, right? Four. four. There are four aces in the deck. So now it becomes a math problem when you multiply these two probabilities together. This is your probability of finding the ten, the jack, the queen, and the king, and this is your probability of finding the ace. So to find the probability of both, you have to multiply them together. And they can reduce this fraction first, make it a bit more simple. Yeah, six. Even oh, smaller. We can do it even bigger than that. So they're both divisible by two, but they're also both divisible by four. Oh, what is 16 divided by four? Well, you get four. Yeah, four. And what about 52 divided by two? It's uh, one, three, 13. There you go. Now the fraction is four over 13. Times by four over 13. So what's that? So it's double. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, put it right there. <laughs> you were sideways like that, but okay. <laughs> six. Six, six, three. Right. You know what yeah, that is? I'm gonna divide it. Okay, okay, yeah. Go as a percent, that'd be great. These two you can't divide. I thought you were going to turn into a decimal. No, I okay. wanted to turn into a decimal. But, right. Um, 16 over 63. You know, all this room down here. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Uh, it ends up becoming about 2.25. 2. Yeah, it does So you, you don't have a very high likelihood of winning blackjack on the first no. two cards. <laughs> I'm trying. Very low. But that's how you go about doing it. Nice, nice. Okay. I need to make my own. Sure. So if you want to, uh, if you have any children, uh, you help in mathematics, I tutor mathematics for a living. Okay. Uh, so okay.